Welcome to my lecture on computation and geometry. I am Philipp Kindermann from the University of Würzburg and in this first video I will give you a short overview how this lecture will work. Because of the corona crisis we cannot have the lecture together in person, so instead we will do it in an asynchronous fashion or as you might learn it as an inverted classroom. That means that I will pre-record the videos of the lecture as you can see here. And every week I will release one video for the lecture. Then you have one week to watch it, make notes, read more about things that you didn't understand and we will meet during the lecture slot in Zoom where we can have discussions about the topics. I can give you some more advanced things about this topic and you can ask me questions. Usually a lecture is about 90 minutes and I use a lot of the time to give you questions, to let you solve parts of the tasks yourself and to have discussions with you so we can work out the solutions together. That unfortunately does not work so well with videos. So instead, at some points I will give you a question and I will indicate it with a mark like this one here and then you should pause the video Think about it for a few minutes, try to solve it yourself and only if you've really thought about it and either you found the solution or you have no idea how to get to it, you should continue. Then you will see a mark like this one and I will give you the answer. As for the schedule, we are currently here on Friday but usually I will release all the videos on Wednesday, you have one week to watch them and then we have the discussion. And at the afternoon I will give you the next video and so on. Since I already gave the lecture last term in PASO as an online lecture, but there were only 10 weeks, the first 10 weeks are already pre-recorded, so you could already watch them if you want, but you can also take it slow and just keep to the weekly schedule. In the end I will give you new videos of topics I couldn't do last year. So if you see a University of PASO logo up there, that's just because last term I was in PASO and I cannot change the videos on YouTube anymore. If you have any further questions, you can always, of course, ask them in the discussion board of the WooCampus course or in the Rocket Chat that you can also access via WooCampus. There will be a weekly exercise sheet and at the same day as the release date of the video, we will also give you the exercises. There will be 20 points per exercise sheet and if you get at least 50% of the total points of all the sheets then in the end you will get a bonus on the exam grade. So your grade will be better by 0.3 but only if you pass the oral exam at the end. About the schedule of the tutorials you will also get the sheets together with the videos on Wednesday. So you can already start early but you don't have to yet. Then. Two days after the lecture slot during the tutorial you can discuss it with Miroslav, you can ask him questions about it, you can start solving them together and then the week after the lecture you hand in your solution, Miroslav will grade it and give you back the solutions two days later during the next tutorial. So for each of the sheets you basically have two weeks but as you can see here it's a bit overlapping. I also want to make some advertisements for our other lectures and seminars. In The Bachelor you've probably all already heard algorithms and data structures and algorithmic graph theory, but we have a bunch of master lectures. This term, computational geometry, you can hear it right now. There's approximation algorithms which is given by Joachim and there's advanced algorithms which is given by Jonathan. And then in summer semester we have exact algorithms, graph visualization and algorithms for geographic information systems. It will still be announced who will hold which of these lectures. These are all very specialized topics of algorithms and in advanced algorithms you get an overview over all of these topics and introduction to them. So I suggest to start with advanced algorithms but you can already do these others in parallel. And then we have two seminars, one about graph visualization and one about algorithms for programming contests. And of course you can do your master's project or your master's thesis with us. Just send one of us an email what you would like to do or in which direction it should go and then we can talk together about a topic for you. The goals of this lecture is that at the end after you heard all the lectures you will be able to decide which algorithms help you to solve a number of geometric problems. 
So we completely focus on problems that have some underlying geometry. And also, if they give you a new problem that you haven't heard before, you should be able to find efficient solutions with the concepts that you learned in this lecture. So we will have a look at 12 different problems, and for each of them, we will develop algorithms, and we will learn some design techniques how to solve these geometric problems. And in the end, you should be able to transfer what you've learned to new problems. I assume that you have some prior knowledge on algorithms. We don't need a lot, but there are some concepts that are mandatory. Most importantly, we need the Landau notation, or the big O notation, that we will always use to analyze the running time and the space efficiency of our algorithms. For example, if I tell you something runs in order of n log n time, you should be able to know what this means. Also, we need some basic algorithms and data structures. One data structure we need a lot is a binary search tree. And at some places, we might also need something like a priority queue. If you are unfamiliar with these concepts, then please read about them before you start with a lecture. Also, we often model problems as graph problems, so it is very helpful if you have at least some knowledge about a little bit of algorithmic graph theory. At least you should have heard the term spread first search or Dijkstra's algorithm before. As I said, we have 12 lectures, so I can show you 12 problems. Today we start with convex hull in 2D, and then every week we will have a look at another problem. Some of them are connected, some of them not so much, and we will try to solve them. At the end, after the lecture, if I tell you about any of these 12 problems here, you should be able to explain to me how an algorithm that solves them works. We have in total three textbooks, but the first one is the most important. This is the main resource for this course. This is a book by Mark de Berg, Otfried Chong, Mark van Krefeld, and Mark Overmaas. Some people also call it the Three Mark book. And all the stuff that we learn about in the lecture is in this book here. It's like a better script. They are very nice explanations, they are different figures than I use, and whenever you don't understand something, this should be the first book that you look into. If that also doesn't help, then there are two more books, one in German by Rolf Klein and another one by Keta Mulmule, where you can also find information about most of these algorithms that we have here, and maybe a bit more details that are omitted in the Mark de Berg book. And if these three books also don't help you understand something, you can still ask me anytime. We will now move on to the second part of the lecture, where we have a look at our very first problem.